You guys showed so much support that we're going to be doing another 1 million MT giveaway for the month of March. All you guys got to do to enter this is use code BIO2K at checkout at NBA2King.com. We do have ways to avoid bans on their website, and I highly recommend guys posting cards that are diamond and above. The brand new NBA series cards are perfect. This weekend in my team, again, I am projecting to obviously get a really good promo. But on top of that, guys, I think promos are going to be dropping soon, whether it is Friday or not. That is going to be really good. And what I'm expecting is out of position, fan favorites, and maybe even like the glitch promo returning. Maybe even, uh, I guess I was going to say a retro set, but that's kind of what this new... Um, what is it called? This new new edition set is called. Obviously, we are getting throwbacks. Prime from 2K20, I believe. Signature series from last year, I want to say, or 2K20. I don't know. These, these promos are from wherever. You guys know what I'm saying. But point is, though, I think we are going to be getting a huge market crash tomorrow. And the re again, that is kind of the reason why. Now, even if we don't get one of those promos, I think they're going to keep the content going because there is a VC sale going on. And I think that that means that there is going to be a good set dropping. If you kind of look at what they're starting to drop, they are dropping these like demigod sort of cards. And normally when they start doing this, this is when we start getting guys like Taco. We start getting guys like Bo Bull, you know, the upgraded Wilt that can shoot. Like we start getting these really good taller cards in this game. And kind of the proof again is like, look, LaMelo Ball, Kristaps Porzingis, Rudy Gay, Jonathan Isaac. These are cards that always end up dropping around the same time. Again, you look at today, Big O. Big O hit the auction house finally with a good card. What does that mean? We are going to be getting some good stuff. Now, again, because of that, guys, and the VC sale, I could see the auction house crashing a lot. So there's a lot of cards in here that I think are definitely no worth noting to maybe go ahead and look to sell for now. Guys like Mikel Bridges, guys like Pascal Siakam, there are budget cards that are going to kind of drop in price a little bit. So if you maybe wanted to get rid of them, take a day off of my team, go touch some grass, talk to a girl, talk to a boy, whatever you're into, doesn't matter. But go ahead and experience something new for a day, get rid of these cards, and then get that value back on Friday when these cards do drop in price. Now, again, you have some of these other cards, you have T-Mac, you have D-Rob. You know, you have a lot of these other really good cards. T-Mac is going for a good amount, obviously. He's still going for around a million MT. I don't know if there's a card that's going to drop that really knocks his price down. And the only reason why is because, like, he is super solid already that, like, it's going to be kind of hard to replace him. Do I think it's possible, though? Absolutely. If we end up getting an MJ, if we end up getting a Kobe, if we end up getting maybe even a Luka... That can play the point guard position that has a glitchy jump shot like they did with T-Mac. Maybe his price does go down, so be on the lookout for that. Same thing with D-Rob, except D-Rob, I feel like, could take a little bit of a hit this weekend. I'm telling you guys, if we get that bowl bowl, if we get that taco fall, if we get that thon maker, we could be seeing a drop in a D-Rob price. And the reason why D-Rob is good, arguably the best power forward in this game, Again, bowl ball is bowl ball. Everybody wants bowl ball if they give him a glitchy jump shot. Even if they give him the Kristoff shot like they normally do, he's still going to be broken. He's still going to be good. And again, I feel like we're at the point in my team where they just are going to start flinging these cards out left and right. And these cards are going to start losing their value. So obviously with that being said, I would be paying attention to the market crash on some of these cards. Kristoff's. This is a big one as well. If you guys see a taco fall hit this market... Kristaps' price is going to drop a little bit. That doesn't mean Kristaps is a bad card. It just means that a lot of people are going to be focusing on, obviously, the Taco or the Bull Bull. Again, even a guy like Wilt is going to knock some of these cards down. Even a guy like Kareem is going to knock some of these cards down. Even a guy like Hakeem. A lot of these guys we are due for, we could be getting some pretty good upgrades. Even a guy like Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard's another one that could be coming out. These bigs, I think, are going to start hitting the, the, the my team streets pretty hard, and I'm going to see. I'm going to we're going to start seeing a good drop in a lot of these cards. Lamelo Ball, like I said, we're kind of going back with T Mac here. Obviously, Lamelo can play the one, but I still think if we get a Kobe or if we get an MJ, Lamelo is going to take a hit a little bit. So I would be on the lookout for that. So definitely expect to see a lot of these dark matters and a lot of these, you know, budget cards of opals and everything start taking hits. If you guys just go to the auction house right now and just go ahead and see what galaxy opals are going for what. I saw a lot of comments, uh, you know, in one of the videos when I said these guys were budget cards and people were saying like, oh, like I remember when, you know, budget cards were going for like 20K or less, right? 
right now in my team guys it is so easy to make empty i know you guys don't want to hear that but it is easy to make empty if you're being smart and you're being efficient with what you're doing it realistically is easy to make some empty in this game let's take a look though under 45k mpj under 30k rudy gay under 40k right let's just scroll through and see what other cards we can find pascal siakam another card that is really good going for cheap Hey guys, if you guys need any online or offline grinding, be sure to hit up Rose NBA. The link to his Twitter will be in the description down below. 100% legit and reliable, so be sure to go hit him up now. Kyle Corver, Danny Granger, Drew Holiday. These guys are going for cheap. And if you're not comfortable selling right now, that is fine. But my point is that these guys are already cheap in my team and they're already really good that like these cards are just going to keep going down because there's just going to be more of these cards dropping in every single set that we get. So pay attention, guys, because you guys are pretty soon going to be able to build an insane team for virtually nothing. So I would make sure that you guys are paying attention to a lot of these cards and everything because this market is going to keep going down. Where we are in my team, like I said, I've talked about it in the past, buying MT and everything, like there is ways around it, whether you want to risk it or not, it's up to you, obviously. But at the end of the day, guys, like these cards are going to tank in price and they're going to keep going down. More of these cards are going to keep dropping and you guys are going to be set. So I would listen though, because like I said, I'm normally right with these things. I have played my team for long enough to know 2K's pattern. So unless they just throw in the towel and give up on the year, which... Honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised if they did that. I think they're going to give it a couple more swings, though. So I would be ready for this market crash. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, peace.